This brief introduction to the Plex Black skin for OpenPHT demonstrates basic features and functionality from an end-user perspective. Please note that these are highly configurable systems, and the user interface shown in this demonstration represents just one of many ways this client can be set up. Also note that this information is presented from the point of view of a non-administrative user, with restrictions that I configured. Customization and configuration will be covered in future videos. The home screen is the central hub for navigation, which is driven by the menu on the left. This menu contains the libraries of available content and the universal search function. Navigating left from this screen brings up the submenu, which contains power options and the ability to switch to a different user account. Click a library to open it. Most libraries contain a wall of movie, TV show, or music artist posters on the right and an information panel on the left. This information panel displays information about the content, such as duration, rating, quality, plot summary, or artist biography for the highlighted content. Use the navigation keys on the remote to browse and select content. Movie library navigation is the most direct. Selecting a movie takes you to the preplay screen, which contains the play button, subtitle and sound settings, and the ability to rate the film. There is also a home button, but this can be accomplished at any time by hitting the home button on the remote. The back button takes you to the previous screen. Large libraries can be challenging to navigate. Fortunately, Plex offers robust sort and filter features. Simply navigate left from the content library to bring up the menu. There are options to filter by genre, actor, year, decade, country, etc. The library can also be sorted by title, release date, date added, and other attributes. Variations of this menu exist in all libraries. TV library navigation moves from shows to seasons to episodes. Note the large numbers on the show and season posters. These display the number of unwatched episodes. At the episode level, Watch status is represented by a small circle. Solid means unwatched, half solid means partly watched, and watched episodes have no circle. TV libraries do not have a preplay screen. Selecting an episode launches straight into playback. Music library navigation moves from artist to album to track. Simply click on the track that you want to play. Moving back to the main menu, we will explore On Deck and Recently Added. These are available by navigating right from the desired library. On Deck for TV shows displays the next available episode for any show you have watched in the last three months. This is great for both binge watching and following current shows in progress and is much more convenient than navigating the library. Recently Added is exactly what it sounds like. Recently Added for TV shows collapses everything down to the show level, where the show with the most recently added episode displays first. There is nothing on deck in this particular movie library, but on deck shows all movies that are still in progress. Selecting a movie provides the option to resume playback. This means you can start a movie on one device and finish it on another, and is one of the many advantages of the Plex platform. The final feature covered in this video is Universal Search. 
which is available from the main menu. Just type a keyword and you will see matches across the libraries. For example, the word help brings back one movie, several TV episodes, and two albums. This is probably the fastest way to find content if you know what you are looking for. I hope you found this introduction useful. Future videos in this series will cover audio and video configuration, network and Wi-Fi setup, basic customization, and more advanced configuration.